Uh, Senator uh, Capito, thanks for your patience. Thank you. Yes, I just have a, a two kind, I, kind of quick questions, I think. In March, OMB and CEQ and the Permitting Council issued guidance on implementation of President Biden's permitting action plan. The guidance suggested directed agencies to submit agency action plans to improve the permitting process. Uh, what are some of the, I mean, have you submitted your, uh, your, your action plan? I believe uh, Senator Capito was that uh, the action plan is for the department as a whole. I don't believe that the Fish and Wildlife Service submitted a bureau plan. Did you have input into the overall department action? Yes, plan? I am working with the department on all of these issues. And what were some of the strategies and actions that you recommended in this? Senator Capito, I would like to um, follow up with you on that. Okay. Um, let me ask a question on um, um, FTEs. How many people are now working uh, for Fish and Wildlife? What's your full-time equivalent right now today? It's over 9,000, Senator. I don't have the exact number. I, I don't know. You're only over 9,500, so okay. you already have 500 more than your uh, well, uh, okay. seasonals, so 8,500. I believe you have the more accurate number before you today. Okay, and, the, and you're asking for an additional 817 in the resource management portion, which is, I assume, the Section 7 and all of that. Okay. The reason, the reason I'm asking the question is it came out in our meeting when you came to West Virginia, and I don't, I don't know that it's just our state, that there were FTEs that were left unfilled in the office, that, uh, that there could have been more people working there uh, and, and there was there was budgetary authority to do that, but that the recruitment was low. And now, you know, I think that uh, the Elkins Field Office, to their credit, is now filling those positions. So my question is, before we would fill another 800 new positions, do you have your present positions? There's a recruitment uh, issue with federal government. There's trouble getting our federal employees back into the office. There's all kinds of um, uh, uh, agency jumping, you know, that one uh, biologist might be in yours and then decide to go over to DOE or something like that. So, so I guess what I'm asking you is, are you at capacity now, full capacity, according to your budgetary uh, constraints? So, it's, it's Senator Capito, I think there were a number of ways for me to answer that. And we are not, you know, we're not always at full capacity with people moving around. And yes, we've had a specific focus on the West Virginia field office and building out capacity there, right. which thankfully Thank we have made great strides right. there. Yes, we also, um, like other federal agencies, you know, are always focused on recruiting top talent. And I would argue that the Fish and Wildlife Service, our employees have been hard at work um, throughout the pandemic. Some, you know, our law enforcement and refuge staff on a day-to-day -day basis showing up at the refuges um, and others remotely, which is an important tool. So, we, at times, though, also have vacancies without the funding to fill them. So part of our request is to be able to fill these positions. For example, in the refuge system, we haven't had the budget to be able to do so. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a combination, but having the authority to uh, always be filling in and then the request in our budget I believe will allow us to do a better job and meet the demands that the American public expects of us. So in your wildlife refuge fund, I, I, I'm not exactly sure if this is out of yours or if this is something that we extrapolated from your budget. So you're asking for more people in the national wildlife, is that true? Wildlife refuge fund? Yes, Senator, we are asking for additional capacity within the National Wildlife Refuge System, mm -hmm. which it's down 25% in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, our Canaan Valley, as we're going to go to together at some point in our future, yes, is so. a very beautiful spot and uh, obviously visited quite frequently. 
and has some of the best species, both uh, um, animal species, but also plant species in, 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 the, in the world, I think. So thank you very much. Thanks again for your responsiveness. I appreciate the time you spent with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.